and a record number of people tuned in to watch the draft. There were nearly two and a half million viewers, which shatters the previous 20, 2004 record, about 600,000 viewers. Now, one of the main criticisms of the league is the lack of teams and the lack of roster spots, but that could soon be changing. WNBA Commissioner Kathy Engelbert announced the league hopes to reach 16 teams by 2028. Possible locations being considered right now are Philadelphia, Toronto, Portland, Nashville, Denver, and South Florida. You might remember back in October, the league announced its newest 13th team will play in the Bay Area beginning next year. And there is no design. Support for the league is at a high. This was the scene at the Fever's Gainbridge Fieldhouse on Monday. Just listen to the crowd's reaction when Caitlin Clark's name was called. Caitlin Clark. That is so cool to see. And get this, 17,000 fans requested tickets for this draft watch party. It seems like the Caitlin Clark effect is alive and well. But if that doesn't convince you, how about this? Just two hours after being picked, her merch was already the top selling of any player in draft day history. She surpassed Trevor Lawrence's record from 2021. And as you can imagine, all sizes of her number 22 fever jersey sold out on the Fanatics website in just a few hours. But it's not just jersey sales that are up for the fever. This season, Indiana will be the most televised team in the league. 36 of their 40 regular season games will be nationally broadcast, including two right here on WQAD. For reference, last season, the Fever only had one televised game. And this morning, Clark addressed the media for the first time as a Fever player. She revealed she knew it was the right moment to go pro when the Fever won the draw lottery back in December. She also talked about leaning on her new teammates and coaching staff for guidance. And when asked about the pressure of leading a franchise, this is what she had to say. I certainly know there's pressure there. That's been like my entire career. But for me, like, I just have fun playing basketball. I know this is a team sport. Like, it's not all about me. It's not everything I have to do. And um, when I've been able to understand that, that's allowed me to play my best, I think. And um, like, I think it's just using your resources, asking questions, knowing that everything's not going to be perfect, um, and giving myself a little grace. The Fever season gets underway on May 14th on the road against the Connecticut Sun.